They nearly lost everything. And today, they had to take nearly everything with them. Yeah, the damage caused by a deadly fire last week and management's slow response prompts the city of Richmond Heights to take action. That action appears to have produced some results. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg joins us live outside Logan Berry Ridge Apartments with more. Jordan. Well, late last night, the city issued this evacuation order to the management company that runs this complex after a fire last week gutted the third floor of building F here. There's about 70 units in total. But just a few hours after this is this order went into effect, the city pulled the order because it appears management heard the message loud and clear. It's 11:45. The notice hangs in the window in the people of building F. Yeah, you gotta take care of my mama. Have 15 minutes to leave. I just hope they get these people some housing and get them some help. Well, we try and see what's going on with my mother so we can try to get up out this place. In the week since the fire, the building department said management had not replaced many fire doors, exit signs, and emergency lighting. And the primary issue was that management did not have 24 hour fire watch which is required by code when the smoke alarm system isn't working. And because of that, officials issued the evacuation order. Tenants also claimed management and Section 8 have been less than helpful. They should answer their phones, because that's their job. They're getting paid to do that, but they like they ain't answering their phones. They have my mother out. We are starting to put the things that we can take out now in storage down the street. That's the only thing that we could do right now. Unfortunately, I have my grandmother ashes that my aunt was keeping, and the box is damaged. So now we have to find something else to put her in. Later this afternoon, officials pulled the evacuation order. As it appeared, management had finally started working on repairs. Contractors were going in and out of the building. Building officials say they will do follow-up inspections through the weekend to make sure repairs are progressing. Yeah, I hope it is lifted, but then again, we still gonna try to find my mother's son to get her up out of here, you know. Building officials say the evacuation order is a tool that they can use to gain compliance, and it appears to have worked. But at this point, just because tenants can go back inside, doesn't mean they will. Hopefully everything will be all right. And Rocco management told us in a statement that it is trying to work as quickly as possible and as diligently as possible to minimize the disruptions for the numerous tenants here in building F and those pro those efforts continue today. Uh, the building commission also says that it continues to do inspections, sometimes one every two hours to make sure that those those repairs are being made. As for the cause of the fire, it remains under investigation. Reporting Richmond Heights, Jordan Vandenberg, News, uh, News 5.